this cardboard electric football base experiment will involve converting this initial design of straight prongs with one layer to the base to the uh, curved prongs and adding additional layers to the base. Um, it's an upgrade that uh, you can do with, that I'm going to try to do with any of my existing bases here to see if it will improve the performance. It should as long as I don't destroy the base. Uh, found a new implement to assist in curving the prongs when they're already on the base. This is a barbecue skewer. You can get a bag of these at any grocery store for like a dollar. And uh, they are perfectly round. And uh, I'm going to use that to uh, try to curl these prongs, or at least to get them started. And then see if we get a, a better result out of the figure. Now, here's the control. Here's what it's going to work. Here's how it's going to work now. I mean, that was the original design parameter. It's, you know, it achieves forward progress. It's not smooth sailing, and there's lots of uh, bumps along the road. But that's how it's performing right now. So what's going to happen is I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to add the upgrades and work with the base for a few minutes with the prongs and see how it performs then. Stand by. Okay, approximately five minutes later, same figure, same base. We have applied the upgrades, uh, no cutting, just a little finger tweaking, and let's see. An overall better result. Not real sure about the speed. I, I don't. I can't imagine it's much faster than it was beforehand. But that's why this particular base is on a lineman figure. Uh, so there you go, uh, easy as that. Uh, like I said, I just used the skewer to get started, and then my fingers to do the rest. Uh, any loops that happen, I was able, you know, mash down on one side of both prongs and see if you can eliminate the loop before you start trying to cut. And, uh, well, folks. It just works. Let's run them the other way. And this is not an exact science. I mean, this was quick and dirty. Quick, instant results. And it cost me about one twentieth of a cereal box and a little poster putty. All right. Very instructive. So the next phase in development here is to just go back and convert all the figures I've already made into this design, which is easy to do. Just stack some cardboard, glue it together, curl the prongs, and uh, now you've got a step up model. I'm gonna leave it as optional because it's, you know, this does add five minutes at least to every figure just getting the, the prongs curled correctly. Um, and it's going to increase the amount of cardboard needed for the project. But uh, the results speak for themselves. Okay, thanks for watching. See you again real soon.